Hello and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. I am Katie. Today we are going to be looking at this vegan cookbook, Eat Plants Bitch. This is by Pinky Cole. It is Jamaican inspired vegan food. She was a restaurant tour in uh, Atlanta and then she decided to do a food truck business, which has been very, very successful. So as you can see, it's a fun, colorful book. It is great. So let me share with you guys the table of contents here. Let me get there. Here we have Good Morning, Good Grand Rising, Jamaican Saturdays, Kick Up Rumpus, Good Old Southern Comfort, De Butters, De Dips, De Jams, and De Jellies. And we also have Dumb Sweet Things. So let's look at this. I already saw some waffles that looked bomb. Oh my god, I found them again. I'll get to it. So here we have our one Good Morning Grand Rising chapter. We get a little blurb about uh, her and the business and mornings. Here is a berry smoothie, which is gorgeous. Beautiful purple color. So you can kind of, oh no, you can barely see. There's a little too much shine on the book. So we have... Here on the very top, your ingredient list and our directions right here. Very self-explanatory. And we have a tiny blurb about each recipe, which is really nice. Um, here we go. These are Chi Chi's Vegan Churro Waffles. And you know I'm making this this weekend. This is amazing. This looks so good. Oh, so good. So we have everything divided up even. So you can see here we have the churro coating which you might be able to see it's actually in a different colored font. So it's all separated if you are, I get really disorganized pretty fast. So having everything laid out for me is very helpful. So having waffle batter, churro, frosting, all of it laid out, that's perfect. All right, so we have pan roasted PB&J. This is a brilliant, simple idea. It's such an easy breakfast option, especially if you're on a weekday rush or something. Here is a beet teeny. So we have cocktails apparently mixed in with our dishes. Chickpea sunrise. You can even see it. There's little tabs on the top here. She gives a lot of um, credit to some of the chefs that have contributed to this book. So this is guest chef, guest chef recipe from Chef Kwan. I love that she does that. That's really awesome. <clears throat> she also has a creamy pesto mac and cheese dish. Elote's my way. Ooh, that looks awesome. It looks so good. So charred. Here is a garbanzos guisados stewed chickpeas. This almost, this is a little light curry. It looks really, really delicious. A uh, hearty pepper soup. Let's move on a little forward. We have spicy garlic eggplant. That is amazing. <laughs> So she has a section in here. It said, it says slutty vegan. And I think that is, was her restaurant business. So I like that she's incorporated some of those dishes, not just from the food truck, but also just from her restaurants in here. So we have vegan fried fish. Whoa. Okay. Sorry. I was like vegan fried fish. She uses eggplant and she has a Creole seasoning in here oh my god it looks amazing i didn't even think about using eggplant as kind of your fish substitute avocado egg rolls oh, lunch is so close backyard quesadillas i hope you guys can see how awesome these photos are the camera is definitely washing out some of these photos it is way more vibrant in person just so you're aware um i can't help it here we have eggplant fries that's a brilliant idea. And she also includes, it looks like maybe a dip. Oh, she says just buy store-bought marinara sauce. That's really nice that she simplified it. No need to go over the top with cooking dishes, you know. Like, if you can buy a marinara sauce, do it. Um, here's a habanero margarita. I will also be making this over the weekend. On the rocks, though. Here we have a vegan potato salad. Yum. Let's move on. Here's an, um, another amazing mac and cheese dish. Brussels rigatoni carbonara. Ooh, yum. Brussels sprouts on everything is good. Fried green tomatoes. Here's some other dishes as well. Sweet and spicy collard greens. Stuffed butternut. This looks amazing. Stuffed butternut squash. Wow. 
Here is a cranberry relish that you can try. And, oh my goodness, a peanut satay dipping sauce. This is really awesome too. Especially if you are vegan, it's kind of hard to find some vegan um, satay peanut sauces because they usually use the anchovy curry paste in there. Here we have spinach artichoke dip. Look at how much of that there is. That is, that's perfect. We also have a white bean dip that looks amazing. And we have sweet stuff. I am excited for desserts. I have a sweet tooth. Here we have a southern peach cobbler. That looks delightful. Let's see if I can go back a little bit. This is a D's Famous Peanut Butter Cookies. I have a soft spot for peanut butter cookies. That was something my grandma and I used to indulge in a lot together. Here's Raw Vegan Chocolate Mousse. This is gorgeous. I am excited. And I think we have one more photo I can uh, share with you. Oh, no, I don't, unfortunately. But she does have a sweet dessert bun and a sweet potato pudding, it looks like, which I don't think I've ever seen a sweet potato pudding recipe in here or in general. And watermelon cream sickles, super good. So if you are looking to find some really fun um, vegan foods, this is Eat Plants Bitch by Pinky Cole. This is a lot of flavor. This is so much fun, this cookbook in general. There's a lot of cool dishes, a lot of fusion foods, um, and it kicks it up a notch, which is my favorite thing. So check this one out. This is really fun, and I will be doing some cooking out of this cookbook uh, over the weekend for sure. This is going to be fun. If you are looking for other cookbooks, make sure to check out our other cookbook videos and to join us on our socials, which you can find in the description down below. If there is a cookbook you are interested in and you just want to look through, make sure to comment down below because we'll try to get it and do a little bit of a preview for you. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to us and we will see you another day.